Welcome and thank you for joining me today. I'm so glad that you are here. I'm so glad that you are investing in yourself, in your business, in your leadership, and in your mindset today. My goal is to add value to you and for you to be glad that you invested this time with me today. Let me ask you, do you ever wish that you had more leaders ready to roll on your team? Have you seen other business owners who, man, they seem to have won the lottery. Their team seems to be outperforming everybody else. Maybe yours too. Did they just win the lottery? How did that happen? Was it, was it magic? Was it good luck? There's a method. There's a strategy. And I want to help you to learn it. Today, I'm going to share with you the strategy that I teach my clients to build a solid leadership bench that will outperform normal teams and will give you the confidence and the margin that you need to lead at the highest level. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Dr. William Attaway. I am an executive coach specializing in mindset, leadership, and productivity. I help high-performing entrepreneurs, agency and business owners, leaders, and their teams to conquer challenging situations and maximize their potential with clear-minded focus, with calm control, and with confidence. Mindset is 90% of why people are successful or not. If you are struggling with an unhealthy mindset, if you are overwhelmed by all of the chaos around you, if you are struggling with focus, and if you're fighting self-doubt, self-sabotage, and imposter syndrome, I can help you. I've been a student of leadership. I've been a practitioner, and I have been a coach of high-performing leaders for nearly 30 years now. If you want to intentionally grow your leadership and your mindset, you can book a call with me at catalyticleadership.net. Let's get started. Finding the leaders that you need for your team to perform at the highest levels can be a challenge. Rarely do you find these types of leaders in the stack of applications that you scan through that you receive for a job posting. How do other business owners and their teams do it? Well, I believe there are strategies that can help you, and that's what I want to share with you. I want to talk with you how, about how I have developed my leadership bench and how I have coached my clients to do this. I want you to take these strategies, and I want you to apply them. I want you to use them to build a leadership bench for your business, for your organization. These are strategies that I believe can make a really big difference if you know what they are and you begin to implement them intentionally. Now, by the way, if you're watching this on the replay, I'd love for you to type replay in the comments so I know you were here. I love connecting with everyone who attends these LinkedIn Live events. Developing your leadership bench begins with asking yourself this question. Is it important to me to invest in and raise up new leaders? Now, at first blush, that might seem a little self-explanatory, right? I mean, of course, you're here. You're in this webinar. Of course, this is important. Of course it is. And yet, there are times when we say something is important, but our actions disagree. Let's put it another way. Are you investing your time and your money into this as a priority? Your time is the most valuable resource that you have. And when you invest that into an emerging leader, into someone that you see potential in, someone that you want to see grow and develop, you are communicating value to that person. Your true priorities are always reflected in how you spend your time and in how you spend your money. These resources are key indicators of what really matters to you. So let me ask you again, is it important to you to invest in and raise up new leaders? Is that a priority for you? Put your answer over in the chat. If you're saying yes, yes, this is important, yes, this is a priority, then you have to have a plan to do it. Nothing important ever happens just accidentally. You're not going to wake up and find that you have a strong, vibrant leadership bench in place. That's not how it works. I'm going to challenge you to make the decision. 
I'm going to challenge you to choose to say this is a priority. This is going to get an investment of time and finances because it matters. Now, once you make the decision, the next step in this intentional strategy is to identify high potential, high capacity leaders in your organization. It is so helpful to develop high capacity leaders internally, so much more so than to bring them in from the outside. I find that great leaders are most often made internally with a farm team type system, not hired or found from the outside. And one of the big reasons for this is culture. Every team, every company, every organization has a unique culture. What makes you, you, how you do things here. And when you bring in someone from the outside, they don't know that culture. And there's no way for you to communicate it fully and clearly in a matter of a few interviews or the time you're going to spend with them before they join the team. So now you have the potential for a culture mismatch. Someone coming in whose values, whose priorities may be different from yours. And yours may be different from theirs. And a culture mismatch is one of the biggest reasons hires don't work out when you're bringing in candidates from the outside of an organization. This is why I find that great leaders are so often made internally, not brought in from the outside. They're known quantities when you think about it. People inside, they're known quantities. You know their character. You know their attitude. You know their strengths and you know their weaknesses. And you know how to build on their strengths. You can help them to become a truly world-class leader. I believe that you focus on what you want more of. If you want more wins, for instance, then focus on and celebrate your wins. If you want more leaders, then focus on and celebrate those potential leaders, those emerging leaders who are doing great things or beginning to do great things in your business. Dale Carnegie was a master at identifying potential in people in his company. A reporter once asked him how on earth he had managed to hire 43 millionaires. Carnegie replied, well, the men weren't millionaires when I hired them. They became millionaires as a result. So then the reporter asked, well, how did you develop these men to become such valuable leaders? How'd you do that? And Carnegie's response is so important. Listen to what he said. People are developed the same way gold is mined. Several tons of dirt must be moved to get an ounce of gold. But you don't go into the mine looking for dirt. You go in looking for the gold. So let me ask you, leaders, are you looking for the gold in the people on your team? Are you focusing on what you want more of? Look for the gold, not the dirt. And see if you don't start identifying leadership potential in more people than you ever have before. See if you don't start seeing more potential in people than you ever have before. Look for the gold, not the dirt. The next step in the strategy, create opportunities and an environment for growth. If you want leaders who are going to grow, who are going to emerge, you've got to pour into them, right? You've got to identify them. You've got to invest in them. But you've also got to create opportunities for them to step into. You've got to create an environment that is conducive for growth. What does this person need in order to grow based on how they're wired? Uh, maybe you're going to read a book and discuss it together. Maybe you're going to listen to an episode of a podcast and talk about what you learned. Maybe you're going to attend a conference or a workshop together, and you're going to process what each of you took away from that. This development, this coaching process is going to be customized for your team, for your mission, for your company, your organization, and your leadership wiring. But it must be intentional. It is not going to happen accidentally. An environment that is designed for growth involves a lot of questions, asking the right questions. It's not just lectures about things. It's helping people to understand the what and the why through the questions that we ask. Let me ask you, do you believe in the people that you are investing in, that you're developing? Do you believe in them? Do you encourage them? Remember what True and Kathy always said. You want to know how to know if somebody needs encouragement? If they're breathing. 
do you show these emerging leaders, these developing leaders that you're investing in, do you show them that you trust them? Are you giving them opportunities to grow that trust? Do you reward high performance? Remember, what's rewarded is what's repeated. And finally, let me ask you, leader, this. As the mentor leader, are you growing as a leader? Your bench is going to follow where you lead. They're going to follow what you model. If you are intentionally committed to growth, they will follow. If you're not, they won't be either. Your own personal development as a leader cannot be faked, and it cannot be outsourced. There is no microwave on this. It is the deep work that you and only you can do as a leader. And when you do it, the team knows, and they are far more likely to follow you. And when you don't do it, the team knows that too. Here's what I know. I know that I can't see the whole picture when I'm in the frame, and neither can you. I need someone on the outside, someone who can see things that I don't see, who's going to ask me questions that maybe nobody else in my world is going to ask me. My coaches are a very large part of why my business is where it is today. They have challenged me, stretched me, encouraged me, and empowered me in ways that I didn't even know I needed. I've had coaches for many, many years, and the power of coaching is why I have been coaching high-capacity and high-performance leaders for nearly 30 years now. So let me ask you, are you currently investing in your own growth? Are you leading at a high level yourself, leveraging the power of a coach to help you? Or are you trying to do it all yourself and figure it out as you go? Are you trying to wing it? Put your answer in the chat. Here's my challenge to you. Winging it never leads to excellence. Winging it leads to mediocrity. And mediocrity inspired no one ever. I'm going to challenge you to think long and hard about this. I'm going to challenge you to be committed to the growth of the people on your leadership bench. These emerging and developing leaders that you've identified, that you've chosen to prioritize their investment. I'm going to challenge you to be committed to seeing them grow and thrive as they step into greater and greater responsibilities. When they realize how much you're investing in them, how much you believe in them, and how much you trust them, they lean in, and your retention is going to skyrocket, and your churn is going to plummet. Final part of the strategy that I'm sharing with you today for developing a strong leadership bench is this. Never stop. <laughs> Never stop. You've got to keep this pipeline going strong. Five years from now, what are you going to be so glad that you started doing today? As my friend Jonathan Milligan says so well, consistency is the mother of momentum. If you want momentum on your team, your business, and your leadership bench, it's going to take consistency. We know that transition and change is a part of life. We know that. We know that people's life circumstances change, and they move, and they change, and they grow. That's normal. It's to be expected. If you are not thinking five years out, thinking about the team that you need five years from now, and you're not starting to build that team today, investing in those leaders who are going to be the leaders you need five years from now, you are going to wish you had. That's why this is the final step in the strategy I want to share. Never stop. Never stop. Be consistent. Be intentional. You can do this. I'd love to hear what your biggest takeaway is from what I've shared here today. I'd love for you to type that over in the chat. And if you want some help implementing these strategies and developing a customized plan and strategy for your team, for your leadership, for your business, I'd love to help you. You can go to catalyticleadership.net and you can book a call with me. Let's talk and let's help you move from where you are, where you might be stuck, to where you want to be. I so appreciate your time today and your investment of that non-renewable resource. I do hope this has been helpful and informative for you. But remember what I always say, information without application is not effective. You have to take action. I challenge every client that I coach to take action. 
if you want different results, you have to do something different. And knowing what to do and when to do it matters. Keep learning. Keep growing. Be relentlessly intentional about the clear-minded focus of where you want to be. If you don't have a coach, find one. Choose a coach who is for you. One who will help you to achieve the goals that you have for 2024 and beyond. And remember, nothing is going to change until you change something. Whatever you're not changing, you're choosing. Thanks again for your time today. And I'll hope to connect with you soon. Have a great rest.